Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gary Brooks, the Fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content in this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Ravens content coming at you pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, if you like hearing about the Baltimore Ravens, NFL talk, football talks, things of that nature, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Now, look, I didn't upload yesterday, but y'all gotta give me a break, man. I just did like a eight, ten hour drive uh, from, from, from Baltimore down here to Michigan, visiting some family. Uh, down here in Michigan, so uh, yeah, I was tired. No, no, no video yesterday for sure. Uh, but I do want to drop a video today, so have, hopefully everybody's having a good, good Saturday morning, uh, enjoying life, things like that. Um, but you know, here we are, man. We in football season, bro. We here. Lost a little bit of college football last night, um, so we definitely in the full swing of things. NFL football coming back next weekend. Um, well, really, probably middle of the week, honestly. So, all right, the Ravens. They still have needs, okay? They they, they do. Uh, I went back and I watched my my Ravens' biggest needs and hit ahead of trading camp, right? So just to see what I said back then and see if those needs are still needs now. Now, two of the things that I mentioned were wide receiver and outside linebacker, okay? Now, the wide receiver position, you guys can still call it a need if you want to, and I'll be fine with that. I, I'm not going to argue with you about that. But... The Ravens feel like they've solved that, so I'm not even going to mention that really in this video just because it'll be beating a dead horse, all right? They got the four young guys. They got the Marcus Robinson. To them, they're set. They're done. That is what it is, okay? So there's no only point in even going back and forth over. They need to add a receiver. I don't I don't see it happen barring some kind of entry, okay? Now, the second thing I said was, like I said, outside linebacker. Now, outside linebacker is still an issue for the Baltimore Ravens. They have... Two guys that they can legitimately depend on, Odafi Owe, Justin Houston. Um, and then they have Stephen Mings on the practice squad right now. And then they have um, a guy that they claim from the Jets. I believe his name is Delshawn Phillips, outside linebacker. About 25 years old. He's been in the league for, I think, about four years. But he's a special teams guy, right? So he's not even a guy that says, like, oh, put him out there. He can, get, he can give you um, outside linebacker production. So he's a guy that's played inside and outside linebacker, so has versatility there. The Ravens obviously don't need any more inside linebackers if they have five on the roster. Now, if they were going to play this guy, it's going to be special teams or outside linebacker. That's it. And claiming a guy who's throwing for special teams, put him an outside linebacker, I don't really see the Ravens doing that. I feel like he was claimed for his special teams ability, and that's what it is. So, you know... The Ravens have concerns there. Now, a main concern is that your top two guys are going to have to play way more than expected, especially during these first four or five weeks of the season. Now, um, Adolfo Owe, Justin Houston, the two guys that the Ravens can depend on, they're reliable, but they're human beings. You know, they're going to get tired. Now, when they get tired and you rotate in, who can play out there that's going to be um, sufficient enough for when those guys are ready to come back in, you know what I mean? Now, Odafe is a young guy. Odafe should be able to go for large parts of the game. Now, Justin Houston is a little different, man. You know, he's coming back. Um, you know, he's in his 30s. This is kind of like one of the probably the last years of his career. He's not a guy that the Ravens should be looking to play 75, 80% of the snaps. That's that, that really shouldn't be what he's out there for. Um, he was good last year. A lot of QB hits, a lot of pressures, four and a half sacks. Um, could have had more sacks, missed a couple. Some was called back due to penalties. He was really, really good last year. But at the end of the day, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta count for his age. To be like the Ravens having Calais Campbell and playing him every snap, that's just not going to happen. So the Ravens have to do something to outside linebacker. Whether it's um, you know sign guys like Jason Pierre Paul is still out there. Now I know him and Oda him and excuse me, him and Justin Houston are around the same age, but at least. With those guys, they can they can split snaps more evenly, and a drop off won't be won't be big between each other, right? So that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Um, now Stephen Means is okay. Now he had a good preseason, um, but we into the regular season. You know when he played for the Falcons, he really didn't get sacks, and he was on the field a lot. He was on the field almost, I believe, like seventy percent of the snaps. Now, like I said, I like what he did in preseason, right? He, I've seen him in, in post-practice um, press conferences say that, you know, the Ravens have rejuvenated his love for the game. And that's beautiful. So maybe with that rejuvenation comes more production on the field. But that's a big if. That's a big if, right? Now, the other 
the other biggest need, right, for the, that I see for the Ravens right now is currently constructed, is that left side of the offensive line. Now, when I say need in terms of this one, this won't be a signing. It'll be more about whether or not Ronnie Stanley can go. Now, I don't want Ronnie Stanley to be rushed back and things like that. We know what happened the last time he was rushed back. Um, he had a very bad game right, versus the Raiders, and then he was hurt and missed the entirety of that, that season. Now, we don't want to repeat that, but we do have to look at the Ravens' options at that left side uh, of the offensive line. Now, that left tackle, if Ronnie Stanley can't go, you got Jawan James. Now, Jawan James is a fine player. Like I'm not saying anything bad about Jawan James as a player and things like that. But we got we to gotta be knowledgeable of a couple things. He's a, He's been a right tackle by trade his entire career. That's one. And two, he hasn't played the NFL game, a, 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 a regular season NFL game. Obviously, he's got snaps in the preseason. But he hasn't played the regular season NFL game in almost two and a half years. <laughs> All right, you know. I think he sat out the COVID year, then he then you know trying to come back towards Achilles, so sat out last season, and now we here on this season, so he's missed a lot of time, right? Of uh, NFL action, regular season, going up against guys that are starting caliber players in the NFL, he's missed a lot of time against those kind of players. Um, that's a concern for me. It really is. Even going into the Jets game, the Jets have a a, a good defensive line, right? Um. So that's that, that that's an area of a concern for me. Now also left guard. Ben Powers won the job, but he won the job against Tyree Phillips, who was in the preseason not very good. Um seemed like his development just didn't come along to Tyree Phillips, whatever the case may be, what I why it happened, it just didn't come along for him. Um and then over Ben Cleveland, who for the first really almost week of training camp, didn't practice because he couldn't pass the conditioning test. So, I expect the Ravens to rotate at left guard. You know, Ben Powers is going to be, you know, the starter. But, you know, Cleveland will get some action. But Powers, you know, they'll, they'll split off. But to me, that's a little bit of a concern, right? I see Powers. I see Cleveland. The two guys who are really good run blockers. Um, or at least above average run blockers. And their pass blocking is okay. So, I don't want to have Lamar Jackson have the same issues last year where, you know, he can't trust uh, a side of the line. I don't, you know, we don't want that for our quarterback. Now, the Ravens, hopefully Stanley is good to go. He hasn't practiced. Um, he hasn't really felt comfortable to practice. They've activated him off the pup list, which was the first sign that, was, you know, he was coming back around. But now that next sign is he actually needs to get out on that, on that, on that field. Um, we're about a week away. So as a week away and he hasn't touched the, uh, touched the practice field yet, it's, I just don't see it as a way that he plays week one. Right. So the Ravens are going to need Jawan James to step up and be ready to go. Now, obviously, they have Patrick McCarry, too, who, who can play in any five of the offensive line positions, all five of the offensive line positions. Um, if need be, and maybe if it's not going well for uh, Jawan James, they can slide in, you know, Patrick McCarry. We'll see. But that's a, that's a concern for me, man. It is. It, it, honestly, it is. So for the Ravens, um, outside linebacker and that left side of the line, Outside linebacker can be solved with some guys in free agency. Maybe not solved, but helped with some guys in free agency. Um, and offensive line is more of a, while it's a need, it's, it's more of a, whether or not Ryan Stanley can come back healthy. Um, the outside linebacker thing is a little bit frustrating just because, like I said, I made a video before training camp talking about the same thing. And the same thing is still a need now. Um, you know, it, it did hurt having a guy like Dylan Hayes go down on the IR. Uh, I think he'll be able to come back this year. So that, that was a major blow. Having Vince Beagle turn his Achilles, that was a major blow. But the Ravens had time to kind of address these issues, and they didn't. Now, we'll see what they do between now and the first week of the season. Because right now, you're going in there with four outside linebackers. Steven Mees is on the practice squad, but I would assume he'll be elevated for the game. So you're going in there with Odafio Owe, Justin Houston, Stephen Means, and Delshawn Phillips, who is a hybrid linebacker, not really an inside, not really an outside guy. The Ravens are taking a chance doing that. So we'll see what happens between now and you know next week when, when it's time to really kick off. Um, and we'll see what goes on with that. Because uh the Ravens have to do something outside the market. They really do. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, what are the biggest needs or are the Ravens good going into the season and there's nothing to worry about and you know
We'll just play football and see what happens from there, all right? It's your boy Gabriel, just on the fan TV. I'm out.